Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science, it's Unit 1, and it's going to focus on dipole-dipole forces of attraction. Looking at the specification then, you can see this is learning aim A1, and it appears down the bottom under the intermolecular forces, dipole-dipole. Firstly though, if you don't subscribe, please do. Your support is very much appreciated. Please use the like and comments features. Let me know what we think. It does help if you have a little bit of prior knowledge here. So if you haven't seen the two previous videos on polar or non-polar and Van der Waals force of attraction, I do suggest you go back and watch those first. So by the end of this video then, you're going to be able to identify when molecules would have permanent dipole, permanent dipole forces of attraction, and you're going to be able to explain what the dipole, dipole force is and how it arises. So first things then, does the molecule contain polar bonds? It's either a yes or no response. Now, if you're not sure what a polar or non-polar bond is, again, you must go and watch this video first. Now, if your response is no, there are no polar bonds, that means the molecule is in fact non-polar and the only force of attraction is the Van der Waals forces. Again, you'll see that on a previous video. Now, if you've answered yes to the polar bonds, then what this means it means that the molecule is polar and it will have either the dipole dipole force of attraction or hydrogen bonding between molecules. Now this is how we're going to work this out. So if the bond that's polar is an OH, an NH or an FH bond, then that molecule has hydrogen bonding force of attraction between molecules. And you'll see that in the next video. Any other polar bond results in a dipole-dipole force of attraction. The easiest way to explain this would be to look at an example of a polar molecule. So here we have HCl. Those electrons are not shared equally. This bond is said to be polar. And this is because the chlorine is in fact more electronegative. So here I'm representing the molecule and I'm showing that one side is slightly negative. That's what this delta symbol stands for. The other side of the molecule is delta positive, slightly positive. And this is due to that bond being polar. And that was due to those difference in electronegativities, which we've seen in a previous video. So this is said to be a permanent dipole. This molecule is a permanent dipole or has a permanent dipole. The left hand side, as I've drawn it, is permanently slightly negative and the right hand side is slightly positive. Now, if I draw another molecule next to it, I've now got two permanent dipoles on two separate molecules. There is an attraction between these two molecules. And that attraction between the two molecules is known as the dipole-dipole force of attraction. We could give it the full title of permanent dipole, permanent dipole force of attraction, but dipole, dipole is sufficient.
So just to remind us of what these molecules look like then, what we've actually got here are two HCl molecules. Here's a HCl molecule on the right hand side that has it's a polar molecule. The left hand side is slightly negative, delta minus, and the right hand side is slightly positive, delta positive. So that then will be attracted to a neighbouring molecule. Notice how we've got an attraction between the slightly positive hydrogen on one molecule with the slightly negative chlorine on another molecule. So this is a force of attraction here. This is an intermolecular force because it's a force occurring between two molecules. Don't be mistaken for the covalent bonds within the molecule. So it's not within, it's between two separate molecules, hence the term intermolecular force. And this is known as a permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular force. To summarise then, if a molecule is polar, then the molecules will have dipole-dipole or hydrogen bonds between molecules. If polarity is not due to NH, OH or FH bonds, then the intermolecular forces are dipole-dipole forces of attraction. If the molecule is polar because of NH, OH or FH, then the intermolecular forces are said to be hydrogen bonds, and you'll see that in the next video. So thanks for watching, and make sure you check out that next video on hydrogen bonding.